Good morning, everyone. I'm so excited to be here on Coffee with Shanda. Of course, you're not seeing Shanda right now. and uh, She's on her way to Barbados and stopping in Toronto to do a workshop. So she asked me to step in and be here with all of you. So I'm really excited to be here. And uh, yeah, I just wanna make sure that you can hear me okay. And so if you haven't met me yet, my name is Amy Yamada, and I have been a client of Shanda since 2014, believe it or not. And uh, I also have, my, of course, my own business. And if, if you haven't met, there are just three things that you need to know about me. One is that if you have been struggling with your marketing messaging, then just know that I've been where you are now. And it's something that I really am passionate about, so we're gonna be getting into that today. The second thing is that words and messaging are my strength. So when it comes to content creation and really connecting in with your ideal clients, that is like totally my jam. And the third thing is that over the last few years, I've discovered that there's such a power in deep connection. So deep connection with yourself, your vision, and your audience so that you can create the impact and the income that you've always wanted. Yes, good morning, everyone. So happy to have you here. I see Olivia and Jess. So I want to make sure you guys can hear me okay. So if you could let me know, that would be great. Um, and I just wanted to take you back. So back in 2014, that's when I was in Shanda Sumter's Pace Club. So if you don't know about Pace Club, it's a really fantastic program that uh, you get to learn really how to build your list, like your email list and your audience, and how to attract clients from your list. And so back then, I, I look back now and I laugh because I had two businesses I was launching at the same time, which by the way, I don't recommend, and a bunch of side projects. So I had like eight or nine or maybe even 10 different things that I was juggling. So definitely lots of passions and I was just putting myself out there. And at the same time, the problem with that was that no one was really clear about what it is I even do. So if, if, if this is you, go ahead and say, yes, that's me. I totally struggle with telling people what I even do, like even if you're passionate about what you do. And so my point is, at that time, the biggest struggle was when somebody would say, so I see you doing all these cool things, Amy, but what is it that you do? And I would kind of cringe. And I'm like, okay, well, tell me what it is you need, and I'll tell you if I can help. So, so I definitely had a lot of things going on. And I had a very broad marketing message. Like I looked at all the things I was doing and I would actually say to people, and I cringe now when I think of this, I, I would say to people, well, I help individuals and businesses grow, thinking that at least it's something that I can say because I was offering life coaching, business coaching, marketing consulting, retreats. I mean, the list goes on and on. So today I'm really excited to share with you, and it's something that Shanda asked me to share with you about how you can really dig deep and connect in with a powerful marketing message so that you can attract clients with ease and flow. So I'm gonna take a moment to say hi to people because I just get excited to see you. Hey, Karen, hey, Barbara, hey, Kim Louise, Sarah, Kiran. Oh, it's so great to see you all here. So thank you for joining me and um, I'm just really happy to serve you this morning. So, and of course, I have my limited edition pink mug from the Zone event, thanks to Shanda. So cheers to all of you. Hopefully you're having some coffee or tea or some kind of healthy, fabulous green juice. <laughs> Okay, so let's get down to it because I know that you are here to learn about how to deeply connect with your marketing message. So one of the things I've noticed with newer entrepreneurs especially, or even entrepreneurs who've had a business for a few years but still do not feel like they have a unique message is that they haven't really gone back to the basics of who is it that you help? So this is something that I myself have come back to over the years because a marketing message is an ever-evolving thing. Just as you evolve, your marketing message can be, become stronger and more connected and more niche. So you probably heard the phrase like, broad is broke and niche is rich. Let me tell you, this is so true because I used to have a really broad net that I had to offer services to people. And then even in the world of business coaching, like that is a huge topic. So I know some of you are health coaches or in the wellness arena, you're healers, you are relationship coaches. And those are huge topics. So what's great about this is that you can find your specific niche within that arena. So for example, um, when I, again, when I used to say, well, I help individuals and businesses grow, that was way too wide of a net. And so if people came to me, they didn't really know what they would come to me for. So, so bringing back to the first thing is to always think about who is it that you help? Like, who do you serve? Who do you stand for? 
or for those of you who are grammar queens like me, for whom do you stand, right? So think about like, who are you taking a stand for? What are you taking a stand for? Because instead of thinking of it as a business and a transaction, you get to think about it, I, I invite you to think about it as taking a stand for something and creating a movement. So I would love to just see if you could type in, what is it that you do? Like if you were to define your title, what would you say that you do? So go ahead and type it in so I could see who we have here today. Like what, what kind of entrepreneur are you? And also who is it that you're, ser you're serving? Are you clear on who you're serving? So is it entrepreneurs? Is it women who want to lose weight? Is it people who want to tap into their spirituality? Like who is it? So that way you can be so clear and the more specific you are, the better off. So even when I started in business coaching, which is so funny because I, I really have dialed it into the power of deep connection, marketing messaging, words and messaging, content creation, handling sales objections in a way that's really deeply connected. So it's really got this nice vertical to it. So let me see here what you're writing in. Okay. I see coffee. <laughs> okay. I'm scrolling down, scrolling down. Okay. So, okay. So Lisa says I'm a PR and visibility strategist for health, fitness, and wellness entrepreneurs. Great. So that's really specific. So this is what I'm talking about. Cause even when I first launched my business and started focusing on businesses, that was in my background, right? I didn't know if I wanted to work with entrepreneurs, small businesses, medium sized businesses, all the way up to corporations. So what I was struggling with was that I was talking to everyone. Like I had meetings at Starbucks corporate. I live here in the Seattle area and, and I was, you know, having these multiple meetings with them thinking about how can I be a consultant for them to launch this new line within Starbucks. So what I realized over time was that even though I thought, Oh, this is kind of cool. I've got some clout talking to Starbucks. My heart is with the entrepreneur. My heart is with coaches and service-based service, service -based entrepreneurs who are here first and foremost to make a difference and then also to create the life that they want. So really think about who is it that you serve and the clearer you are, the better you are so that you can tell people, yeah, the people I love to work with the most are coaches and service-based entrepreneurs so that their, their ears will, will perk up if it's them or their ears will perk up when they know someone that has been seeking someone just like you. So the benefit of this is that then you're not the only one telling people what you do. Like every life you touch that you make a difference for can also be your voice and we stand stronger together. Okay. So I'm going to go through and see some of these fabulous comments. Um, okay. So Jade, Hey Jade. So health and wellness, living a happier, healthy life as a family, showing moms that can be the doctor 80 to 90 percent. Great. That's awesome. Uh, Kate says, fiery and fun and lasting love. Heather says, I'm an online platform developer and tech consultant. I stand for entrepreneurs and small business owners taking the guesswork out of tech and harnessing automation. This is fantastic. So I can see some really clear indications of who it is that you're serving. So the second thing I would say is to know what is your ideal client's desired result. Now, this is something where I encourage you and invite you to lean in and listen to what they are saying to you. So one of the things you can do is notice the frequently asked questions that you get. So even if you're newer in business, then or even over the course of your life, it's probably something where people have naturally come to you with a frequently asked question. So you can take some time and look back in your life and actually say, what, what do people come to me for? Or what are topics that I find myself talking about often, even with family and friends and colleagues? What, what are those topics? Because what I found, if I look back, you know, I worked in the media for like 15 years and it was natural for me to talk about marketing, promotions. What are you doing to invite people to your brick and mortar location? Or what are you doing to stand out in the market? What's your unique message? So when I look back, I mean, even as far back as junior high, uh, my dad uh, was a ham radio, um, a ham radio fanatic. So yeah, some of you may not know what that is, but it was like, basically speaking through like these satellites and things like that. I, I shouldn't even speak into it. But my point is he would go to these conventions in Tokyo because I grew up in Yokohama, Japan, and I would go and help out even at the age of like 13 at his booth and be talking to people about the organization that he represented. So it just was always about getting the message out. So if you're not clear with your message, if you're not clear with your message, then it can become very difficult for people to understand who you are and what you do. So to bring it back, number one, be so super clear about who your ideal client is. 
And then the second thing is what is their desired result? What do they want? And if you're uncertain, then start to ask people who you know, who are your ideal client, what do they want? So you can do your own little mini survey with a small po population and find out what is it that they want so that that's something you could speak into. Like I know that my entrepreneurs really want first and foremost to make a difference. Like whenever I'm on a call with someone, like an enrollment call or a strategy call with someone, when I ask them what do they want, they always focus out first. Like I just attract people who really want to make a difference. So in some way, shape or form, they always say to me, Amy, all I really want to do is help people. So I hear that from everybody. And then second to that is that they want financial freedom or they want financial peace. So they want to at least know that they are taken care of and they can take care of their loved ones. And usually they want to do something cool like travel and have some flexibility in their time and their money. So my point is I've leaned in and listened to what their desired result is, which can help me with my marketing messaging. So I know that I, I always speak into the impact and the income that you always want because people, that's what they want. So listen to what it is they're saying as their desired result. And finally, this is like, the piece that I feel is missing for most people. So I hope this is helping you. Think about the two to three core elements that you believe. So this is from your strong, unique point of view that you believe, two to three core elements you believe your ideal clients need in order to achieve their desired results. So if, that, if that's something that you're like, wait a minute, I'm not even sure what she's talking about. Just think about what it is that you offer right? What problem do you solve? And while there may be many, many steps or many things that you do in order to solve it, what are those like two to three core elements? So go ahead. If you have some ideas right now, go ahead and pop in the comments. Like when you think about if you're a health coach, for example, if there was like two or three things, you're like, if I could just get every single one of my clients to get this piece, they would be well on their way to living their healthiest lives. Okay. So go ahead and post that in so I can see if you're getting this. Um, that was such great uh, posts here. Okay. Okay. So Jade's talking about giving tips and telling my story and what I did change their lives. So we were sick as family stories. Okay. Yeah. So Jade's speaking into stories. So that's definitely part of messaging. Um, in fact, I'm glad that you bring this up. So, okay. Well, I, I want to make sure that I'm staying on point. I get so excited about this topic. Can you tell? <laughs> so, okay. Let me break back. So with the two to three core elements. So let me give you an example of the fabulous Shanna Sumter, right? If any of you have, listen to her for any amount of time, there are two things she feels so strongly you need to build your business. She'll sell, she'll say, build your list, as in your email list, and know how to sell to your list. She teaches so much more than that, but the core elements that she feels so strongly you need are to build your list and sell to it, right? So ideally, if you don't already have this, it'd be great for you to know what are these two to three core elements? Because then what you can do is, have those as your sound bites. So if you're out and about, for example, and you're networking or you're speaking from a Facebook Live or doing a free webinar training or any point of communication, you can insert these sound bites everywhere you go. So basically you're seeding your point of view everywhere you go because you know that as a purpose-driven entrepreneur, you're here to help people achieve a desired result and here are the two to three core elements that you're like, if they could just get this, that way, when people are referring people to you, they can even say, oh yeah, if you wanna build an email list, go to Shanda Sumter, go to Hardcore Business, right? For me, it's all about deep connection. If you're struggling with your messaging, your words and messaging, with your every form of communication, like when it comes to your words and messaging, I'm your girl, right? So the also, the, the also, the other benefit of that is that when you are super clear on your niche within the industry you're in, it makes it even easier for people in your industry to promote you. If you're too broad, then they may see you as competition. Like, well, why would I promote this person when this is my arena too, versus having your vertical in it. That's why even with Shanda and myself, we constantly promote each other. When in my old way of thinking years ago, I used to think, well, I've got to just promote what I do because why would I promote another coach? Now I love standing shoulder to shoulder with other incredible coaches that are super clear about their niche within business. So if you wanna learn how to build a list, go to Shanda. If you need help with your messaging, come to me. If you wanna build a deep connection, come to me, you know what I mean? So, okay, let's see here. 
Good morning. Yes, good morning. Okay, so scrolling up here. Okay, so Catherine, I love this. She says, Amy, people come to me most for a hug and smile and to listen to them, seriously. Okay, so Catherine, what I would want to know more for you from you is what, you know, what are the core elements that you help people with? Okay, Yvette says, the three M's of optimal weight and health, mindset, meals, motion. Great. So this is what I'm talking about. When you can be so clear about these two to three core elements, then you can really help people. So to bring it back to the storytelling, I love that this came up. Um, once you have that clarity, then have stories ready to share at any given time. And the more you practice the storytelling, the less you'll even have to think about it because they will be in your head like as sound bites. So stories truly connect, right? Stories truly connect. So even when it comes to my marketing messaging, when I, I, I was just thinking back, I was talking to my boyfriend, Ken, yesterday about this. And I was talking about being on coffee with Shanda this morning and talking about marketing messaging. And I thought back to early on when I was early on one of her clients, um, I was at a mastermind event and I was speaking with one of my other colleagues there. Her name was Erica. And she and I were talking about our messaging and my messaging was not strong at that time, you know, and she was saying to me, so when you think about the entrepreneurs you help, how do you help them? And I remember struggling so much, right? I was like, I should know this, my background's in marketing, but I wasn't like the thing that I do was right in front of me, but I was so lost in the trees, you know, where I was like, but I help them with so many things. I help them with this and this and this and this and this. And she and I were trying to help each other out with our messaging. And she was saying, yeah, but that's just not clear. Like as far as your initial message, once they become your client, then of course you can continue to teach these other elements to make a difference for them. And at first it's about being so clear about what you want to become known for. Um, so my point is at that, it was so funny when I think about that moment, I was so frustrated, right? I was like, why do I not have my message clear? And it was at that event that on one of the breaks, like this, this is the power of a community, by the way, and a coach on one of the breaks, I went up to Shanda and I was like, you know, I'm really struggling with this. You know, I, I know that I, I know that I can help entrepreneurs. I already work with clients, but when it comes to my specific message, I'm still unclear. And she's like, well, what, you know, what do you teach them? And I listed about 10 things. She's like, okay, let's just not overthink it. So this, I, I, this is an aha moment for me. So this could help. I hopefully many of you. She said to me, if you were to start from scratch, if you, Amy, were to start from scratch from your point of view, what would you do to build your business? Not what would I do, not what I teach, but what would you do? And she's like, and don't overthink it. Just conversationally tell me. And I was like, okay, that's simple. She's like, say it. And I said, I would, you know, if I were to build my own business again from scratch, I would create my own signature offering. So, you know, pricing and packaging of an offering. I would connect with my ideal clients, both online and in person. And I would make offers. And these are things that to me, I thought everybody knew how to do. And she goes, that's your program right there. That's what you teach as your core elements right there. And that actually created my create connect offer system, create your signature offerings, deeply connect with your ideal clients and make offers. And it was like this two minute conversation that completely shifted my business. And now I make sure that in my programs, that's what I teach. So my point is, this is your chance to really take a moment, take a step back, look at your message and just say to yourself, is it clear? Is it specific about who is it that I serve? What problem do I solve? What is their desired result? And what are the steps that I can teach them or that maybe I already teach them, but in a very concise, specific way that I can convey to them in my messaging? Um, yes. Good morning, Dagmar. Okay. So is this making sense? I'd like to open it up for Q&A since we have a little bit of time. Um, so go ahead. If you have a question for me about your messaging, go ahead and pop it in there before we wrap up. Um, and yeah, the, the main thing I would have to say, like that I, I'm excited to say, is just really thinking about how you can make the biggest difference in this world. So, okay, I'm going to see if anyone has any questions. Let me know if this is helpful for you. I know for some of you, you maybe have already been working on your marketing messaging. So um, I like even where I am in my journey, I like to come back to it as I continue to evolve in my own business. So anytime I'm about to speak on a stage or speak on a new platform, I just take a moment and think about like, is there anything that I get to tweak now that, that I've been doing this for a little bit longer that I can really have my message land with my ideal clients? 
Okay, Crystal Jackson. Hey, Crystal. How do you decide who your ideal client is? Okay, so this is great. So the way that I decided was I thought about who are the people that I've already helped. And remember, it can be even prior to or outside of business. Like who have I helped? What type of people have I helped? And then just drop into your heart and ask yourself, who do I love working with the most? Now, this can be a difficult one because if you're like me, you love working with most types of people because you just love people, right? But who, who do you believe? So here's another way to ask it. Who do you believe you can make the biggest difference for? Who do you want to work with? If you were to look around in your circle of influence and pick one person that embodies the type of person you want to work with, then journal about that person. Who are they? What do they want in life? What is their biggest pain point? So this is where you can go into a much deeper connection where you can actually really be generous enough and care enough about your ideal clients to think about what it is that they even want. What keeps them up at night? What, you know, what do they struggle with? That is something that you have either already overcome or something that you've excelled at. And oftentimes it's the thing that is so easy for you that you don't even see your own worth. You know, that was the thing for me. I, I didn't even see my own worthiness in that I thought that everybody knew how to market themselves, how to write emails, how to create content and how to sell. Like I thought that was something that came naturally for people. And then over time I saw that most people would, you know, build an email list and then they would send emails to that list and get zero response. I'm like, what? I built a list and sent emails and I have people lining up to talk to me. So what's missing? They are incredible entrepreneurs, but there must be something missing. And they would say things to me like, I think my email list is dead or I think my email list doesn't have any money or they don't want to work with me. I'm like, okay, hold on. Before you believe any of those stories, show me what it is that you're writing to your email list and I'll tell you why it's not landing with them, why they're not receiving your message or even opening the email. And I would notice, I would notice that there was a piece of deep connection missing in the email and they themselves were fabulous. And then as soon as they wrote an email, it was like a marketing email that was salesy and not them. You know, it didn't even sound like them. So to bring it back, though, to Crystal, just think about who do you want to help the most? Who in your life embodies the type of person that you so love working with? Like, I can look at my clients and see, like, the golden thread of who I love working with. Like, I love working with people who love collaboration, who love um, making a difference, who are coaches and service-based entrepreneurs. Like, I just have noticed that those are the types of people I like to surround myself with. So that's another way to look at it. Who do I want to surround myself with? If I'm going to be on this journey with clients, and I know many of you are coaches and healers and service-based entrepreneurs, who is it that I want to serve and grow with me? Like, instead of thinking of it as a, a client relationship, think of it as, like, I get to bring these people with me, and let's do this together, okay? Okay, let's see if there's any other great questions here. Yes, you're welcome. You're welcome. Okay, any other questions? Okay. Explain. Jody says, explain deep connection, telling your story authentically. Okay. Yeah. So this is at the core of what I teach. Um, so when I think about the power of deep connection, I think about storytelling and taking people to a moment. So what do I mean by this? Think about like, think about bringing people to a moment in your journey where you realize something or where you hit a moment of frustration or pain or maybe even joy. So let me give you an example. I know that my entrepreneurs struggle with even knowing what to do next in their business to attract clients, right? And I know this moment, this pain intimately because I've been there. So if I tell a story, instead of just telling the surface story, I like to go deep and take people to a moment and then I share a, what I call a deep connection statement. And I do this from the stage, I do this in emails, I do this in Facebook Lives, right? So I might say something like, I'll never forget the moment early on in my business where I was sitting in my office and I'll actually drop in. So this is like an exercise you can do. Drop into your heart, take yourself back to that moment. Go, I'll never forget sitting in my home office, staring at my laptop screen, and I had no idea what to do next to attract my next client. Like I, I physically feel myself going back to that moment when I share it. Like I, I had no idea what to focus on next to attract my ideal client. So I opened my email inbox 
and there was an email from a, a business coach. You know, I was on her list and there was a subject line that said, get clients today. <laughs> I was like, oh my gosh, it's like it's talking to me. And I opened that email and it linked to a video with this other coach that really spoke into me. So, so my point is I'm, I will go back to an actual moment. So any of you can do this exercise today where you start, like you just journal this out first and then practice using it. Like even if you practice with a friend or a colleague and, or even on a Facebook live and you say, yeah, I'll never forget the moment when, or when I think back to when I was, you know, like what, whatever your journey was, like you maybe have heard those phrases, like make your mess your message or your test, your testimonial, you know, it's usually something that you yourself have overcome in order to get to where you are now in order to help people. Right. So I, I specifically and intimately know what it was like to be stressed out financially, to not know what my next step is, to not knowing what my specific and powerful, unique marketing message was. Like I know those moments because I was there. So I'll think back to a specific moment in time and I will share a deep, vulnerable statement where when people hear it, they're like, Oh my gosh, that's me. That's me right now. And thank goodness somebody gets me and she's gotten to the other side of it. So I'm going to lean in and listen because I want to know what she did to get out of it. Does that make sense? Okay. So, um, yes, I hope that is helpful. Okay. Yvette says, I want to drill down even more to work with people with chronic illnesses and also people in combat sports. How do I shift the message? Okay. So Yvette, so if you, if you feel like your messaging is pretty like, all over the place or you've got multiple things, then what I would do is um, write down, like write down the things that you want to do or the, the core elements or the people you want to help. And uh, okay, let me bring it back. Write down like a list of the type of people you want to help and even a list of the way in which you want to help them. And then look for the golden thread in each of these lists. So that's what I did when I first was trying to figure that out. I, I made a list of the type of people I wanted to help and I looked for the golden thread because ultimately you really want to have one strong message and one clear like demographic and one clear even offering so that like as far as your signature offering, so you can really go the distance with your messaging. Okay. All right. Awesome. So I, I could talk about this all day long <laughs> and Shanna be like, you were on my Facebook live all day long. So First of all, I just want to thank uh, Shanda for having me on today. So much fun being here with all of you and also to Hardcore Business for, for uh, letting me be on this fabulous platform so I can make a difference for you. So, yes. So thank you, everyone. I'm going to go ahead and wrap this one up. Um, if you have any other questions about marketing messaging, go ahead and pop it in the comments below because I'll come back later in the day to help you any way that I can. And, um, yeah, and I just um, let's all wish Shanda a fabulous time in Barbados. She works very hard to serve all of us. So I'm, ho I'm hoping that she has a great time. I'm sure she will. And uh, I look forward to seeing your comments so that I can continue to serve you throughout the day. So thank you so much, everyone. Have an awesome day. And uh, talk to you soon. Mwah. Bye.